Hello, Melanie. Lesh, how are you? Uh, where were you born, Melanie? In Bristol, UK. In the Bristol, UK? Yes. When did you come to Australia? Then? In 74 with my parents. Oh, okay. You're an artist, of course. Uh, anybody in your family? It, it kind of runs loosely through um, my family, as yes, my father's side. Yeah. Uh, what does your dad do, for example? Um, he's a, a heritage um, conservation. He's now retired, but he was restoring um, heritage buildings. Oh, okay. Yeah. At what age did you first begin painting? Well, since. You know, I was a child. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, as kids, they all paint and get enjoyment out of it, and so I just carried that on. It was like the environment around you that sort of inspired you. My parents always encouraged me to yeah. to paint and get yeah. messy. Yeah. Did you study to become an artist, or where did you study? I studied graphic design and illustration. Okay, where about did you do that? At UniSA. It was okay. in Gurkhandar. Yep. Yeah. So you've been an artist since. Really, since you've been a tacker, since you've been really small. And Everyone's an artist, I think. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe your style? Um, I'd like to say fairly loose and um, expressionistic. So there, um, you can see um, what I'm painting, but I'd like to have a little bit of abstractness about it. Yeah, yeah. What type of materials do you use? Mainly acrylic on canvas. Yeah, or but I, I like to put in a little bit of collage and I also um, dabble with whatever comes my way. Yeah, yeah. Do you work on one picture or more than one at a time? Normally one at a time. Mm -hmm. Is the reason why you do that? Um, well, I like to start and finish and then yeah, yeah. if I'm not happy with it, I'll start another one and so on. So, how long does it take you to complete a work of art, for example? Well, if it's an easy piece, um, that seems to be working, it will come to me in about half an hour. Yeah. Or it could be um, a day. So it would take anywhere from half an hour to a day to finish yes. a piece of art. Wow, you work pretty quickly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So how do you know when an artwork is finished? Well, I'm happy with it. And as I say, sometimes it can take a day. Usually means I'm not happy with it. <laughs> I keep labouring over it. Yeah until um, I think it works. Yeah. Does your art carry a message? Um, not so much a message, but I like to, or I hope, to make people smile and have a little giggle. Is there an artist you relate to who inspired you? Uh, loads. Um, people like Bill Trailer, the old black fella in the, the American. Um, just his quirky little drawings that you just pick up old um, cardboard from shirt packets and start drawing or painting with gouache and just the, the quirkiness of his characters I really enjoyed yeah. and I suppose that inspired me a lot. Um, same with um, like the freeness of um, Jean Cocteau's drawings and um, Jean de Buffet um, and also children. I like the way they express themselves. On, yeah. On paper. Yeah. What inspires you to paint? How do you get your inspirations? How? Oh, that's a tough one. It, it kind of comes to me subconsciously, sits there for a while, brewing, I suppose. And then um, when a need comes out that I have to paint, it usually works its way out then. So if you get that inspiration, do you go straight to your... Uh, Canvas, so to speak. And no, I normally make a little note, jot down a little drawing, and um, sometimes when um, I have an exhibition coming up, I'll flick through my notes and think, oh, that's right, and then put it down on yeah. canvas. Okay. Is your personality part of the artworks, your artworks? I think so. Yeah. I think my friends can see me in my paintings. How, how is that portrayed, do you think, your personality? Your um, slightly quirky. <laughs> yeah, okay. Which of your artwork pieces is your favourite? Or do you have a group that's your favourite? Probably have an era. Uh, a lot of my earlier work I quite like, and I'm, um, I'm trying to maybe revive that in my um, current style. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Is there a purpose to your artwork? No, just to be happy and make people smile, perhaps, or people, so that people can relate to the paintings. So, oh, I've seen that. I understand what what that is. Yeah. How has your artwork changed since you first began? Probably a little bit more serious, which is I'm trying to remedy that. <laughs> it's become a little bit more tighter, and um, yes. A bit hard to describe. I'm trying to loosen up more, you know, since I've got a, a small son, I see him drawing and really getting into it. <laughs> I'd like to loosen up my own so, making. So does like um, the different stages of your life influence the Perhaps, way you paint? Yes. Like you're saying your son, <laughs> like Jasper? Yes. Yeah. How do you feel when people interpret your artwork differently than you do? Um, I wonder whether it's a subconscious that I've never um, seen or um, I quite like that people can see different things in it than like, I'll paint a bird doing something silly and it was, it's just that but they'll make up other meanings for it so I, I quite enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. Where have your artworks been on display? Uh, various uh, small galleries around town. Um, Oh, there was one gallery and I was travelling through Turkey and there was this little studio um, going off into a sidetrack here. <laughs> little studio which I went into to check out the work and um, the guy there must have seen the longing in my eyes. And he said, look, there's a spare easel over there, um, paint's here, just go. And I said, oh, thank you. So I, I just started working there and, and I stayed there the whole day and set up shop and other tourists were coming in. And, um, buying my paintings and um, so that's probably the best kind of studio gallery that I've um, yeah. um, wow. set up or displayed my work in. That was it was so spontaneous. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So have you been on display here in Adelaide, for example? Yes, um, a lot of little galleries um, up in the hills and in the city. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any on display at the moment? Oh, there's some in Kangaroo Island, there's um, a KI Fine Art Gallery there. Um, I think there might be a couple in Urban Cow Studios. And I think that's... Oh, no, and there's also some in Murray Bridge Regional Gallery. What kind of people buy your artwork? Um, people with a bit of a sense of fun, I think. Yeah, well, my paintings are bright and have a... A bit of a is that age specific or irrespective of age grouping? I like to think irrespective, but it tends to be my age or a bit younger. Yeah, yeah. What are you trying to do to people with your art? Just smile. Well, that's a very good objective to have. <laughs> isn't it? We need a lot of that. There's, there's no deep or hidden meaning behind my paintings. They are what they are. Have you won any competitions or gained any awards? Um, I haven't really entered my work into any competitions. I, I did enter into one recently. I've forgotten what the, what the competition was called, but I was a finalist in that. Yeah, great. Thank that you. Was, yeah, that yeah. was kind of encouraging me to maybe enter more, yeah. more yeah. competitions. What's the worst thing about being an artist? The worst thing? Well, I'm not doing it full time. I'm doing graphic design and illustration full time. So um, I can't really say there, there are too many bad things other than, you know, professional artists do have it hard out there and it being a completely subjective world and, and it's yeah. hard to yeah. become recognised. Yeah. What's the best thing about being an artist? It's freedom to do what you do. Express yourself as you as you wish and can get away with a bit. <laughs> Melanie, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.